everybody, in this video, I will show you guys how to fix your Adobe Premiere Pro hardware acceleration problem. I will show you the step by step what I did. So, I have just solved my problem. Maybe on five minutes ago, I have just solved this problem. Um, actually, I surfed all whole entire Google and I didn't find anything. So, and luckily I was able to find myself this solution. So I'm just going to share you the solution right now. Uh, you guys need to follow the step by step, everything that I have done, all right? Um, so as you guys already know that you have the problem that when you try to uh, render with the hardware encoding in Edge 264, that it won't use your NVIDIA, right? So you see that the NVIDIA, uh, you will see here is zero. When you render your video, it will just show you 0%. So right now it's using 9% just because I'm using the Streamlabs and because I'm using the NBank with the Streamlabs, okay? Sorry for that. And uh, yeah, it will use right now, uh, it will use the um, GPU memory if I try to render this video. It's because it's been solved, okay? So let me show you the step by step um, what I have done to solve this issue. So the first thing that I was using the cracked Premiere Pro, okay? So this is the cracked or pirated Premiere Pro version here and I was not using Adobe Creative Cloud. And you can see already that it's the, the Adobe Creative Cloud is being new here that I have just installed. Let me show you in my download folder even. All right, so here we go. Oh, sorry, I have deleted that. Actually, I didn't delete that. The Adobe itself deleted the set of file after it got installed. Sorry for that, all right? So after installing the Creative Cloud, you'll see something like this. You can use the free account even, so install this one, okay? The Media Encoder. So I have installed the Media Encoder and Premiere Pro. So this in, this let me install 2020 version of Premiere Pro and the Media Encoder. And before you install this, I recommend you guys to disable your onboard graphics card, okay? So if you guys don't know what is onboard graphics card, it's basically your Intel GPU. And make sure that it's um, GTX 1050 is enabled. So to disable this, all you guys need to do is right click and disable the device. And it should show you the prompt and click in yes. Now it has been disabled. As you guys can see, you'll see something down, down logo here. So you can re-enable this device after you have installed the media encoder. And I also recommend you guys to try without this, okay? So you can enable this later. So right now, mine is working fine with both of these graphics. So if I try to render the video, it will use both of these graphics, which is really awesome. So I will minimize this right now. So guys, if you are using the pirated Adobe Premiere Pro, then leave it and make sure that you have uh, moved your pirated Adobe Premiere Pro on next local drive, okay? So you can see that it's on my G drive on some specific folder here, as you guys can see over there. Or you have buy this product, then you, you simply can uninstall and reinstall this thing, all right? And it's going to solve the problem. Um, so what I did here right after that is I so after installing this media encoder and Premiere Pro over here all I did is open up my previous version of the Premiere Pro which is 2019 and this is 2020 this so everything here the product you're looking over here on the Creative Cloud desktop it's 2020 okay and right now I'm going to open the Premiere Pro 20 Nine, uh, 2019 sorry so you can see this uh, this is the Premiere Pro 2019 here you can see here it's a 2019 build all right so now if I try to render this video uh, without audio because I don't want to show the audio part it's, it will take so much time for me so and also make sure that you have enabled the 
encoding setting to the hardware encoding and set up software and click on export and you see this time over here six minutes and it's using the GPU so let me cancel here and show you from the top okay let me drag this a little bit so right now it's using the 9 and 0 percent on GPU so exporting right now and you can see that it will get some instant boost just like this see the GPU on Nvidia it's working perfectly fine and also the GPU 2 which is Intel SD graphics so I was suffering same problem like you guys okay that it just stay like one to two percent of use of the nvidia gtx 1050 now it's using 40 percent so that's a big huge impact over here and i can render it any video on short term which is really cool and also make sure that you guys have project setting on mercury cuda uh as relation here instead of using OpenCL or software only so you must use this Mercury GPU acceleration and CUDA. So if you have not done this, please do this or it won't work for you. And I hope this video solved your problem. So if it's still not working for you, let me know in comment what's error. What is the error that you guys are getting? And I will try to help you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.